Hello, my name is Roy Solomon. I work at the Laboratory for Cognitive Neuroscience and Center for Neuroprosthetics at UCSL. Today I'd like to tell you about an experiment in an article we published in Frontiers in Behavioral Neuroscience called the Full Body Illusion is Associated with Widespread Temperature Reduction. In this article, we study the topic of bodily self-consciousness. Now, bodily self-consciousness is about how our mind and body are joined together. We all experience the self is a unified and coherent system which includes both our thoughts, our mind, our spirit, if you want, and our bodies, which are a part of us. This is all me. However, we see in many cognitive and psychiatric and neurological conditions that people actually have a problem with their bodily self-consciousness. People start ignoring parts of their bodies, thinking that their body is not controlled by themselves, or feeling that they do not actually exist within their body. From this, we have deduced that the brain is actually has mechanisms by which it brings, it unifies our minds, our thoughts, and our bodies, and gives us this unified sense of the self. Okay. We have found that there are actually experimental ways in which we can slightly shift and mess up these computations, causing people to experience illusions where they do not feel that their body is totally their own. We call this the full body illusion, and this is what have we've done in this current experiment. In this experiment, we brought in 22 healthy volunteers, and we had them lie down on our haptic poly stroking robot, which is a robot which can stroke you on the back or on the leg or on both. We had the subject wear a head-mounted display in which we projected an image, an avatar, an image of a human body. Now, the way the full body illusion works is we create a multi-sensory conflict in which you feel the stroking on your back and you see the avatar being stroked on the back. When this happens, you have a very strange sensation because basically what the brain has to deal with is a conflict. It feels the stroking on its own back and sees it on another person's back. And when those two strokings are timed, synchronously in a very precise manner, you get the full body illusion in which you feel that you identify more with this avatar. You feel that you're not actually inside your body, you even feel closer to this avatar. And what is very novel in this experiment is we also measured autonomic responses, here body temperature, and we saw that during the full body illusion, and not when you had asynchronous stroking, you actually had a strong reduction of body temperature showing that even on an autonomic level, there is a reduction of, and a change in how your bodily signals were processed during the illusion. This finding of a reduction of body temperature during the full body illusion shows us that the mechanisms in the brain by which the mind and the body are joined, which are the founding of a bodily self-consciousness, depend on exactly how the multisensory conflict is set up and also affects very low-level mechanisms. Okay? And what we think is actually what may be happening here is when you embody another body, you may actually be disembodying your real body at the same time. Maybe the brain is only wired to actually have one body at the same moment, and when you're leaving your own body to embody this new avatar, it actually changes the way you process your own real body. This finding may help us later on down the line produce better prosthetics or neuroprosthetics for people suffering from tetraplegia, stroke, people who have problems with their bodies, including neuropsychiatric disorders such as Alzheimer's or schizophrenia. Um, by understanding how the body, how the mind actually produces a sense of body, we may be able to replicate this using novel technologies and it make new prosthetics that actually fit better and are easier to introduce into your own representation of the body. Thank you.